believe your love. I believe in our love. No matter what I know, our aim is true. Every step we take, our love will grow strongly. I wish that our hearts could be one. How I wish that our hearts could be one. Hey guys, William Morse from the Brotherhood of Gaming, uh, just getting a little re recreational activity. Uh, so yeah, been a long time, welcome back. And I'm Eugene Morris, and welcome to our newest episode of Top 10 Tales Facts, this time focusing on Tales of Graces. Now we have a lot of nostalgic love for Tales of Graces, because believe it or not, this here is the game that primarily brought the Tales series back to the United States. Well, let's see what interesting facts there are in this game. We are the BrotherhoodGaming.com, and these are the top 10 facts on Tales of Graces. Number 10. It was the 10th main title produced by the Namco Tales Studio. In 2008, Bandai Namco announced their next core product for the Tales of series. Later that year, a trailer was released at the Nintendo Autumn Conference, which confirmed that the game would be developed for the Nintendo Wii. One year later, at the 2009 Jump Fiesta, the game was given the code name of Tales of Ten. This was a reference to the fact that even though this was the 12th main Mothership title in the franchise history, this was actually the 10th one to be produced by the Namco Tales Studio itself. The two that weren't were Tales of Legendia, which was produced by Project Melthus, and Tales of Innocence, which came from the Alpha system. Later on, the game's trademark title was revealed to be Tales of Graces, and the game's setting would be heavily influenced by medieval Europe. Returning to work on the character designs once again, tried and true, Matsumi Inomata, despite that there were several rumors that a new artist was going to be brought in. With the knowledge that the game was being developed for two years prior to these announcements, it was safe to say that this 10th title for the studio was a pretty big deal. Number 9. The game's battle system is called the Style Shift Linear Motion Battle System. This time around, the game's battle system is known as the Style Shift Linear Motion Battle System. With this, the characters have two distinct fighting styles, Assault and Burst. The arts for the styles are set to both the A and B buttons. As the player, you can switch back and forth freely between them. Another interesting wrinkle is that you can sidestep your opponent, cycling around them at 360 degrees. By avoiding damage, you can earn bonuses for your effort. The system also borrows elements from Tales of Destiny with its chain capacity and Tales of the Abyss with its free run. Titles allow you to learn new arts, dualizing allows for customization, and ilf mixing helps round out the system. Overall, the system gives Tales of Graces a very unique way of going into conflict, as compared to other Tales games. The gameplay and combat would receive good reviews from both critics and fans alike. Number 8. The Nintendo Wii version was recalled due to software bugs. Tales of Graces made its official debut on the Nintendo Wii on December 2009, which would be the second Tales game to appear on the system. The year before, the much maligned Tales of Symphonia Dawn of the New World, or Tales of Symphonia Night of Ratatosk, had appeared on it. However, things did not go very smoothly for Tales of Graces, as around two months later, Bandai Namco, in midst of many reports, had to announce a recall on the Wii title due to many game-breaking bugs. It was confirmed that there were 10 different defects among them, including music glitches, the inability to obtain certain items, walking in place, game freezing, you know, all sorts of fun stuff. So in the end, it was pretty embarrassing for Namco as they had to set up an exchange program for those who purchased the game, not to mention their reputation being a little tarnished. Afterwards, Namco said that they would revise their quality control system. Yeah, no kidding. Maybe games being delayed before they get released to the rest of the world is not a bad thing after all. Number 7. The game's DLC featured a crossover with Hatsune Miku. For the game's DLC, Tales of Graces offered a number of costumes for the characters. 
Since this was the first home console release for a Tales game since Tales of Vesperia, pre-order codes allowed Asbel, Sophie, and Sheria to play dress-up with outfits from that game. The legendary Matsumi Inomata also produced some unique costumes for each character as well. Tales of Graces F also had some similar content too. Pre-order codes gave some characters the ability to dress up in Tales of Destiny 2 outfits. Cameo costumes from other franchises were introduced as well. This included costumes from Code Geass and Toro, but one that stood out was a Hatsune Miku costume for Sophie. For those who don't know, Hatsune Miku is a virtual singer created by Krypton Future Media. She is a singing voice synthesizer software who was brought to life as a virtual idol who has not only released albums and video games, but also performed on stage at concerts. The Japanese man. They think of everything. Number six, it was ported to the PlayStation 3. In August of 2010, Namco officially announced that an updated port of the game was coming to the PlayStation 3 entitled Tales of Graces F. Producer Hideo Baba stated that this port was decided back in February of that year. The port would feature an additional story arc which would address loose ends left over from the main story. It would also contain new story scenes, higher definition graphics, new costumes, among many other things. Tales of Graces F would also have a new data install feature that would decrease load times. Now about the name Tales of Graces F, the F stands for Future, which would put a great deal of emphasis on the new content. The following year, Namco then announced the North American, EMEA, and Asia Pacific were getting a localization of the enhanced Tales of Graces F. After being announced on their Facebook page, they were greeted with many messages of thanks from the fans. It was a nice reminder of what happens when companies do decide to listen to their fan base instead of insulting them. Number 5. The game spun off several manga and novel adaptations. Tales of Graces received four manga adaptations to coincide with its release. First, there was the anthology collection called Tales of Graces Comic Anthology. The second anthology collection is called Tales of Graces F Comic Anthology, and both came from Ichi Jinsha. The third collection was called Tales of Graces F Sub Travels, which was serialized in ASC2 Media's works Viva Tales of Magazine. Tales of Graces also had several novel spun-off series as well, which came from Enterbrain. Tales of Graces F official scenario book came out soon after which detailed the game's plot and world. In addition to this, there were 10 drama CDs that were produced by Frontier Works, and an original soundtrack which came from Ivex Group. Drama CD Tales of Graces presented side stories that take place during the game's plot. So there's plenty of side materials for fans of the game to enjoy. Number 4. Asbel Lant would become one of the most popular characters in the Tales of series. Asbel Lant serves as Tales of Graces' main protagonist. As the son of a lord, Asbel would eventually fulfill his father's role, but he trained himself to be a knight. He would use his skills to serve the Lant territory. Asbel has a personality and resolve much like Pharaoh Orsted from Tales of Eternia. After making what he considered an unforgivable mistake earlier in his life, he grows up with a need to help and save everyone and refuses to turn away from those in need. Asbel would go on to make numerous appearances in other Tales games, such as Tales of Fantasia Narakiri Dungeon X Cross, Tales of the World Ready Mythology 3, and the anime shorts known as Tales of Gekijo. In the 2014 Tales of Festival, fans voted on their favorite Tales characters. After the poll was done, Asbel finished in fourth place. Asbel Lant is a character that has managed to touch the hearts of many inside the Tales community. Number 3. Sherry Barnes is a rare main Tales character that deals with an illness. The main female protagonist of this game is named Sherry Barnes. It turns out she is a woman that stands apart from many of the other female leads. For one, she has a complicated relationship with Asbel. While she is in love with him, she refuses to be honest about her feelings towards him, which does give them that cute awkwardness to their relationship. She has strong offensive attacks, but also works as a healer of the group and is a bit of a motherly relationship with the other girls in the party. But above all, however, Sharia stands out by being that rare Leeds Tale character that deals with the illness. As a child, she was afflicted with an unknown disease, which caused a great deal of coughing and weakness. It is strongly believed from the community that she suffered from asthma, as the systems seem pretty similar. She was, however, able to overcome it. 
and is rather inspirational for that. Her name is also based on the phrase to cherish, as in to cherish every day that you are alive. Number two, the theme song, Mamoretai, was performed by Boa. In the tradition of Tales game and talented pop artist who brought in to sing the main theme song, this time Namco went to Boa as she performed the song Mamoritai, which translated means White Wishes. Boa, who was originally from South Korea, exploded on the scene when she became the first Korean pop star to break through in Japan. This was all thanks to the barriers being lifted that restricted entertainment between the two countries that were in place since the end of the Second World War. She would become the only foreign-born artist to have three albums that would go on to sell more than one million copies in Japan. This would eventually earn her the nickname, the Queen of K-Pop. She would also sing the English version of this song when Tales of Grace's F was localized. With all of this on her resume, you can make the argument that she is one of the most accomplished artists to perform for the Tales series. And number one, the game received a mix to positive reception. When Tales of Graces for the Wii hit the scene, it was greeted with an impressive amount of success. In 2010, it made it onto Famitsu's list of greatest games of all time, and within its first year it reached 216,000 copies sold. Tales of Graces F would continue the success by selling over 300,000 copies in the first year. The games were praised by critics in Japan for having great depth in its gameplay. Readers for Dinginchi Online also stated they would love to see the game adapted into an anime. The English translation, however, would receive more mixed reviews. The battle system was praised for being rewardingly challenging and robust, but the game's plot, graphics, and audio were criticized, specifically singling out the childhood prologue. Despite that, though, Tales of Graces and its updated Tales of Graces F accomplished its goal, not only continuing the rich legacy of the Tales series, but also giving players outside of Japan a chance to once again enjoy the JRPG series. Tales of Graces welcomed English players back to the Tales franchise. And that's our list! Make sure to leave a like and comment down below. And be sure to follow the links at the end of the video to check out all of our other cool stuff. You can be sure to head to the Teespring website where you can buy merchandise of our shirts and logos and cool stuff. And until next time, keep on gaming. Hey there everyone, did you like this video? If you did, why not give us a thumbs up and maybe leave a comment and watch some more of our stuff. Also, if you really want to keep up with the Brotherhood of Gaming, such as myself, William Morris, or Eugene, you should really follow us on our Twitters, links provided below, so you can see what's coming up in the future. And since, you know, we have to play these games sometimes and record them, why not join us on our Twitch page where you can hang out with all of us as we do so and chit chat about the games that we love so much. Lastly, if you want to help keep our dreams alive, you can support us in any number of ways, either by continuing to view our videos, like them, share them with all your friends and family and your peeps and your girlfriends, or you can also join our small Patreon and throw all your spare cash away. We'll even give you a shout out. Once again, thank you all and have a wonderful day.